The human eye is a marvel of precision, capable of rapid and coordinated movement. But behind this motion lies a complex system of muscles working seamlessly to direct our gaze. In this video, we will explore the seven key muscles of the Hobbit that control eye movement and eyelid function. The extraocular muscles include four rectus muscles and two oblique muscles. These six muscles control eye movement in all directions, while an additional muscle, the levator papibrae superioris, lifts the upper eyelid. The four rectus muscles originate from a common tendinous ring at the back of the hobbit and extend forward to attach to the sclera of the eye. Each muscle moves the eye in a specific direction. The superior rectus elevates the eye and contributes to inward rotation. The inferior rectus depresses the eye and also rotates it inward. The medial rectus moves the eye inward towards the nose. The lateral rectus moves the eye outward away from the nose. The two oblique muscles follow a different path, allowing for unique rotational movements. The superior oblique muscle passes through a pulley like structure called the trochlea before attaching to the eye. It enables downward and outward rotation of the eye. The inferior oblique originates from the front of the orbit and helps to rotate the eye upward and outward. Additionally, the levator papibrae superioris muscle plays a crucial role in opening the eye by lifting the upper eyelid. The control of these muscles comes from three cranial nerves. The oculomoto or cranial nerve 3 innervates the superior rectus, the inferior rectus, the medial rectus, the inferior oblique, and the levator papibrae superioris. While the trochlear nerve or cranial nerve 4 controls the superior oblique, the abducens nerve or cranial nerve 6 controls the lateral rectus. Together, these muscles ensure precise eye movement enabling us to focus, track objects and maintain binocular vision. Their coordinated function is essential for perception and daily activities.